RD Square is in the north of Bristol in an area which covers Winterbourne, Stoke Gifford, Downend, Kingswood and Hambrook. In 1986, the Doomsday Project recorded local concerns about plans to develop the area. Since then, a lot of buildings and roads have been built, but the area still remains relatively green. Stoke Gifford is on the outskirts of Bristol. Many new houses have been built in the past ten years. This is Stoke Park. The new housing estate near the Bristol Museum. The mobile phone tower is near the anti-aircraft gun emplacements in Purr Down opposite Bristol. Downing used to be full of countryside but over the years it has become a more built up area. The Willy Wicket used to be a farm and a farm shop. It was called Wick Wick Farm. Now it's a pub and restaurant. Downend used to be all fields, but then they built the M4, which leads into the M32. The Beef Eater is in Emerson's Green originally, but right next to Downend. Kingswood has a hospital called Cosham. It has been around for about 20 years, and it is now being renovated. In Lincoln Barn, some changes are also underway. Even the play area is being renovated, but luckily the woods are still there. Quakers Road has seen a few changes since 1986. It still has its own shops that sell anything from chocolate to pie, beer to wine. Hambrook Common used to be called White Hill Common. It is now used for sports such as cricket and football. Hamburg School has been here for a century, which the school is celebrating this year in 2011. In 1986, the Doomsday Project recorded some of the key locations in the Winterbourne area. Today they look no different and remain a prominent part of the landscape. The high street looks the same, except a few shops and restaurants have changed. Green spaces are still very important to the locals. Winterbourne Duck Point was rebuilt in 2008 and has been home to a lot of wildlife since. Ducks have better facilities and are breeding well. For the past 25 years the pond has been a popular place for families, dog walking and fishing. Winterbourne has had an active community for many years. The Methodist Church is used for lots of activities such as guides and brownies. Frampton Cotch was close to Winterbourne. The local Indian restaurant wasn't as popular in 1986 as it is today. The windmill was built in the 1850s and is a grade 2 listed building. Today it is a home and is known and loved by many in the village. 